Thanks, Jonathan, for the plug. And he starts in action uh, tomorrow. Now, Denise Lewis has been going really well in the heptathlon. She's got the 200 metres, uh, is the fourth discipline. That's coming up shortly. Paul Dickinson updates us. Well, there are the standings of the heptathlon going into the last event on day two. Denise Lewis leading it. 2,932. Ursula Vlodicic in second place. Sazanovic in third. It's very, very close at the top. But the British athlete leading, which is good news. She goes in the last heat, in the heat of the 200 metres now. The athlete in second place, Ursula Vlodicic. Well, there's the lineup for you. Kiss, Maro, Barker, Koritskaya, Vlodicic and uh, Nikolna. And Vlodicic drawn in the seventh lane. And uh, with a total of 6542 to a credit over the full heptathlon. In second place at the moment with 2866 is 66 points behind. 152, that's Nikolna of the Czech Republic. Drawn on the outside. Not really in contention, has yet to break 6,000 points in the heptathlon as a whole. But Vlodicic. Very powerful, 13.42 hurdles, a 1 meter 80 high jump, and 14 meters 48 in the shot. And that's where De Denise Lewis started to take over. She had three centimeters better in the high jump and uh, through the shot, 15 meters and 27. Both of them, that's Lewis and Vlodicic, Lewis who goes in the next heat, um, have got pretty well the same time. And the 66 points difference represents about 0 0.7 of a second at uh, the speed they would normally go. So then this heat, that's uh, Baco of Italy, this heat then to decide how well Vlodicic can go. And she's in the seventh lane, second from the left of your shot. And she's already going well. Maro of France running well on the inside of Baco of Italy and right on the inside kiss. And Vladicic, only beginning to impress at this late stage, he's found this pretty tough going, but she's going to take it. Vladicic and Koritskaya and Barker, those three, 24-34, not bad. 24-34, and there's a slight following wind of 0.1 metres per second. So that uh, is very useful points for Vladicic. It was a competitive race, and that helped. Once they came off the bend, there was real pressure, uh, Koletskaya, the Russian, on the inside of the pole, started to put pressure on at this stage, and right on the inside, she'd have seen Marrow, Sophie Marrow of France. She's got a best of 24.40, so she must have been pretty close to that in this uh, race, and it really was a race. It's a time trial in the sense that these times are converted to points and added on to the previous uh, three event totals, but it's that last 10 or 15 meters that took Vladovich away to get us some very useful points. Look at this. In the final stages, relaxed, and that is the target for Denise Lewis. Let's have a look at the result of that. Lotta Chick, 24.33. Kuritskaya, 24.43, and Barker, the Swiss, 24, uh, the Italian rather, 24.56. So 24.33 is the time that we'll be looking for from Denise Lewis, who goes in the next heat.